Hello everyone, welcome back to Expect Ridiculum. I'm Alex and today we're watching Oshinoko episode 2. The previous episode ended up absolutely shocking everyone. Not only we have met the author behind play, Tokyo Blade, but the author itself, the mangaka, decided to completely change the script and revolutionize the whole play. Now, all of these actors don't have that much time for rehearsal. On top of this, there isn't much time left to the play. Now, I know that there were some characters who weren't really happy about the role and I can fully emphasize with it, but let's be honest, the clock is ticking. I'm pretty sure everyone has remembered their own script now. If the author is to change everything, I don't know what's there to come, but I think it's going to be hilarious. And what does Aqua have to say about it? Curious to find that out. Let's tune in. Here comes the moment. Oh my god, everybody, I'm frozen! Like, so frozen. Okay, so we are going back in time. この公園カブラギピーが外部の役者のキャスティングに噛んでるんだと。つまり俺たちはカブラギ組ってわけだ。よろしく。はい。よろしく。なんだよ、そのまま。まあ、わかるけど、6人演技できないやついて、今日天の
どこまで行っていいのかもわからなくて先生劇の稽古見学一緒についてきてくれませんか oh, she asked her if she wasn't sure you know できるってわけじゃないけどいいわよ That was her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go alone. It's like a little bit. Okay. No one ever tried this. I haven't myself. I haven't even thought about it. I don't think that's how it works, you know. Their faces. Oh my god. <laughs> the face of the spur. Harsh. Doesn't know how. He did, he has explained himself before. Proper despises him. Well, it's true in case of the princess. They have totally rewritten it. I think Akana will be really happy. Her creations are her children, right? I think she's a little bit too harsh, you know? It's not like he's done a really crap job, you know? He's done his best given the circumstances they have limited time, and it's, this is actually a stage play, not anime. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think the girl is too harsh. I can't understand. I want Princess to shine more and have more scenes with Aqua, you know. There's a lot of work involved, honestly. Do you know what? This explains a lot why some based on comics movies go wrong. Well, it's all her life, it's all her world, you know. She's totally fired up. Right. No idea that this is the case, if this is how it looks like. And it's not scriptwriter's fault, <laughs> it's everyone involved. それをうまく翻訳できない仲介者。もう私に全部脚本書かせてください。いや、もう本当に絶対にやります。じゃなきゃ、この劇の許諾取り下げます。Oh. 
I mean, let her try, I suppose. And then she won't get any adaptations. She really loves the story. Oh, this is really difficult. And then he will get bad reputation and won't get any jobs in the future. ゲンサクシャの趣味と少し違えば憎まれ嫌われ面白かったら全部原作の手柄プロデューサーの趣味をねじ込まれて大手事務所には出次郎を増やせと圧をかけられて。She ドクラは僕の名前消してもらえませんかいいサチュナイスガイ先生が。I ほかの仕事のスケジュール原作サイドとの交渉の後、新しい脚本が上がり次第連絡をする。それまで稽古は休止とする。赤く舞台そんなに好きじゃないでしょ。それは気づきますと。わお。好きじゃないというか、好んで見ないだけだけど。It's なんて声もあって、せっかく時間できたんだからちょっとデートしよう。あは。あ、I Seriously, the manga author has been extremely harsh and childish. Yes, I agree. Doesn't help that she doesn't have any social skills. I can understand that this play, that this manga is literally her baby. She created it from scratch. She has spent immense amount of time creating all the characters and she only she's the only one that truly really understands them fully, right? And has certain expectations, but they need to find some sort of common ground in there. But seriously, I didn't realize how hard it is to write a script for a stage play or a movie. Let's do a comparison. There are some movies, for example, like Madame Web, that I feel like are terribly written. Like I've watched the movie and I was just like face palming myself. Couldn't believe how bad it was. Like the music was just not good. The character didn't make sense. The whole story, the plot, it's just oh, nothing really made sense, you know. In comics it was different. But for some reason they decided to completely change it. And yeah, I think the reason for it basically was what was happening here. Because between the author and the scriptwriter, there is so many other people 
that could influence this play. People that have their own visions as well and they want to, you know, see that movie in their vision, completely ignoring what the comics are actually about or the manga. And there we have it. Absolute chaos. Oh gosh. Like, I hope that the script writer from the play, Tokyo Blade, won't give up because he seems like a genuinely nice person and he really, really worked really hard. And I'm really sad for him because, and for any script writer ever, because if literally, because if the people will judge that the play is not good, he will get tomatoes thrown onto, right? And even if he was to go well, the author might disagree just like this girl. And there we have it. Havoc. Oh well. <laughs> Nevertheless, as you have probably noticed, I've got a new microphone, which I am testing today's video. I am also using my lavalier microphone because I don't trust this new one yet and I don't trust my editing skills yet. I have a feeling that something might go wrong or I'll press something and this will switch off. And then when I watch anime, I like to give you a first time reaction experience. So I wouldn't want to rewatch the same anime again because I feel like the reaction wouldn't be genuine. I'd rather react as, as, as we go, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's why I have two microphones. This one is just a backup, so I do apologize. Um, I was supposed to start recording the, today this morning because it is today's my only day off but as it always as it usually is in life i decided to test this microphone which has arrived in the package just yesterday and i wanted to find out how good it is how can i play with the voice and how to set it up and it took me 11 hours yeah it's currently 11 pm it's late but i've got a couple of more anime to record and i honestly can't wait to listen to that and if any of you is knowledgeable about audio mixing etc if you could recommend me a program that is really good currently i am using motif mix ma uh, a motif mix um, app that came with the shore microphone this is shore mv7 plus i believe it is right yeah and tried to play with it. I tweaked it here and there, but I just feel like it doesn't sound really good. I don't know what you're thinking. Do you prefer the Lavorio microphone that I used to use? Or do you prefer this microphone and how it sounds? I feel like it needs post-production. I feel like something needs to change in here. I feel like something is wrong. So yeah, let me know what you think. And so thanks so much for watching this anime with me. Hope to see you in the next episode. Don't forget, I've got a Patreon with my full-time reactions in 100% opacity linked below or you can join my youtube channel as a member get access to my videos early release with some personal posts and videos with updates or simply get a fancy badge on my channel thanks so much for watching and see you next episode